Here is another example. In this example, he is asking about find the state equation, output equation for a given circuit. So here I have two inputs. One is U1, which is a current source. Another input U2, that is also a current source. So it's a multiple input, single output. And the output I have, Y right here, the voltage across resistor, that's one output. So multiple inputs, single output system. So here we have two energy storage elements. So we'll have two, we'll end up having two state variables. So this is my one of the state variable x1, another state variable x2. So x1 is a voltage across capacitor, x2 is current passing through the inductor. The state variables we choose always, always choose the voltage across capacitor as one state variable and current passing through the inductor is another state variable. So if I have another inductor here, say for example another inductor or something like this, now this is going to be x3 which is current passing through that inductor. But I'm not choosing that. So since there are two state variables, we'll end up with a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, I now I always feel um, writing output is a bit easier. So I'm going to say my y here is nothing but output y equal to y equal to r times whatever the current passing through this. So if I apply KCL at this point, Kirchhoff's current law, so X2 current is coming in and U2 is coming in. So the current passing through this must be X2 plus U2. Y is the voltage according to Ohm's law, I times R, R is the resistance and the current passing through that is x2 plus u2 so i have a output equation so most of the circuits it's easy to write the output equation so go ahead and write down the output equation now i'm going to write the state equation for the capacitor i want to find the current passing through this so i can say x1 dot i mean in any capacitor voltage drop across capacitor um, say x1 equal to 1 over c integral of i dt. i is the current passing through the capacitor. So I need to find the i. So to remove the integrate integrator, I'm going to differentiate both sides. So we'll end up with x1 dot. So x1 dot equal to 1 over c. What is the current passing through this? Uh, I'm going to apply KCL again. So I know u1 current is coming in and x2 current is going out so what is the current passing through the capacitor that must be u1 minus x2 excellent so my x1 dot state equation very simple came up with as long as you have state variables x1 x2 x3 here in this case i have only two state variables so x1 and x2 and as long as you have input um so we're good we don't need to modify anything. I'm going to rewrite this 1 over C X2 plus 1 over C U1. That's my X1 dot. Now X2 dot. So here I need to find, I need to find the X2 dot. What is the voltage X at this point? I'm going to ground this. So the voltage at this point is voltage across the capacitor. So the voltage here must be X1. Okay. And the old voltage here must be Y. So can I say my x2 minus y equal to L times x2 dot. My apology, the voltage at that point is x1, not x2. x1 minus y. x1 is the voltage across capacitor. So at this point, this is grounded. So we have x1 there. So x1 minus y must equal to L times x2 dot. So I already know what is y, so I'm going to replace um y there so l x2 dot equal to x1 minus r times x2 minus r times u2 so x2 dot equal to x2 dot equal to 1 over l x1 minus r over l x2 minus r over l u2 so this is my x2 dot. So I have x1 dot, x2 dot and output equation y. And if you want to write it down in the matrix format, x dot equal to ax plus pu. So I have two state variables. My a is going to be two byte matrix. So zero because I do not have x1 term minus one over c. And x2 dot equal to one over l minus r over l. That's my a matrix. 
and B matrix I have 1 over C here U1 there is no U2 term here 0 minus R over L um, U1 U2 now my C matrix is going to come from the output equation so because Y equal to CX plus du so the c matrix is going to come from the output equations output equation is right there so c equal to i do not have c any x1 term so 0 and r x1 x2 and the d matrix 0 um i have u2 which is r so u1 u2 Okay, that, those are my A, B, C, D matrix. Okay, I'll stop here. Solve one more example next video. Thank you very much.